good morning everyone today we will we will start with a new topic that is numerical methods it is a analysis of numerical approximation for the problems of mathematical analysis they are used to provide approximate results numerical methods means they are giving the approximate results for the particular problem now we look into the first definition that is finite differences i'll consider a function that is y is equal to f of x let y is equal to f of x be any function and let x not comma x not is your initial value and x1 is your x1 that is x1 will be given by x not plus h comma x2 will be given by x1 plus h similarly x3 will be given by x2 plus h so on up to xn will be given by xn minus 1 plus h be the set of points at a common interval h here whatever you are observing the variable that is h h is nothing but the common difference between those set of points then the corresponding values of y is equal to f of x are or this can be written as y not is equal to f of x not similarly y1 is equal to f of x1 and so on so if i consider the series like 0 1 2 3 so on the common difference between those set of points is 1 that is your h understood here if x not is 0 then x1 which is equal to x not plus h x not is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 I, I, I got the next point as 1 next x2 will be that is x1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 like that a set of points will be arranged this is called as finite difference now we'll go to the next definition that is forward difference the first difference of f of x is given by delta f of x the first difference which is given by delta f of x which is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x delta f of x will be given by f of x plus h minus f of x it is your common difference here the symbol the operator you are observing that is called as forward difference operator this is called as forward difference operator now for the values x naught x1 so on up to xn delta f of x naught will be given by apply this formula if x is replaced by x naught then which is equal to f of x naught plus h minus f of x naught or you can write it as delta y naught which is equal to y1 minus y naught then this this is very easy please remember this that is delta y naught which is equal to y1 minus y naught delta y1 which is equal to y2 minus y1 similarly delta y2 is equal to y3 minus y2 so on up to delta yn minus 1 term which is equal to yn minus yn minus 1 here the difference of the first forward difference is called the second forward difference the difference of the first forward difference is called as the second forward difference that is see here this is the first forward difference now the second i mean the delta will be indicating first forward difference if i i mean the, the next value that is delta square delta square of y naught will be delta y1 minus delta y naught so on up to delta y, delta square y1 which is equal to delta y2 minus delta y1 so on this is second forward difference third forward difference will be obtained by delta cube y not fourth forward difference delta 4 y not see here now look at the table you will get the exact what is the first difference and the second difference so on please look at the table x and y will be given delta y delta square y delta q y so on up to delta to the power n y only the power of the delta is raising not the y x and y values they will be given if they were given the x we need to calculate y see here we are considering from the initial point therefore 
the first value is called as x naught similarly here y naught then the values that is x1 y1 x2 y2 so on up to xn yn the first this is called first difference first difference delta y naught is equal to y1 minus y naught that is your delta y naught y2 minus y1 is delta y1 then y3 minus y2 is delta y2 so on then yn minus yn minus 1 is delta yn minus 1 next second difference table that is second forward difference because the power is 2 delta square y naught which is equal to we have to subtract from this we have to subtract that is delta y1 minus delta y naught similarly for delta square y1 is equal to delta y2 minus delta y1 so on we have to do the first term will be always y naught why not please remember next we have to do the delta q that is the third difference so on up to nth difference we are doing but in the examples if i subtract from this term this term if i get minus here you have to write that minus as it is understood and next question will be till what we have to extend the till what value we have to get extend the table means till i get the value 0 all the values 0 or i should get the single term at the last till there i have to find the forward difference please remember the first entries the first entries that is delta y naught delta square y naught delta cube y naught so on up to delta n y naught are called leading forward differences the first entry is delta y naught delta square y naught delta q y naught so on up to delta to the power n y naught which is called as leading forward differences now we'll go for the backward difference there is a slight change between the forward and the backward differences look here the first backward difference of f of x is given by forward delta will be the delta and backward it is exactly reverse of it that is delta f of x which is equal to f of x minus f of x minus h the reverse of that and there we have used the plus here we are using minus that is f of x minus f of x minus h this backward delta is called as backward difference operator similarly for the first time if i want to calculate backward delta f of x1 therefore which is given by f of x1 minus f of x1 minus h that is delta y1 which is equal to y1 minus y0 delta y2 which is equal to y2 minus y1 backward delta y3 which is equal to y3 minus y2 so on that is backward delta yn which is equal to yn minus y of n minus 1 now we look into the table similarly there how we have done it for the forward difference that that's why i mean the same procedure we are following this is called as backward delta square for the third difference backward delta cube then for nth difference backward delta n please look at the table x and y values there we are using forward delta here backward delta delta y delta square y delta cube y then backward delta to the power n y instead of forward delta we are writing backward delta rest all only the slight changes this will be y1 this will be y2 this will be y3 so on up to nth but here the last entries will be of only y nth how we have i mean in the forward difference the first leading elements will be y naught here the last elements will be y n you have to take care of those things only that is the change here now see here the last entries in the table will be given by delta y n backward delta square y n delta cube y n so on up to delta to the power n y n these are called as leading backward differences they are leading forward differences here leading backward differences please remember those two tables then that's enough now we'll solve one example 
okay construct a finite difference table for the function f of x which is equal to they have given the function that is f of x is equal to x cube plus x plus 1 where x is lying from 0 comma 1 comma 2 so on up to 6 here they have told you to find identify leading forward and the backward differences f of x is given as x cube plus x plus 1 therefore x is lying from 0 to 6 when i substitute in place of x if i substitute 0 then here also in the rhs also i have to substitute 0 then i'll get answer as 1 next i'll substitute x as 1 here also substitute x as 1 then the equation will be that is 3 now f of x i mean x will be substituted as 2 then 2 cube is 8 8 plus 2 is 10 10 plus 1 is 11 similarly you have to substitute 3 then 4 5 and 6 then construct the table first x values and the y values x you know they have given that 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 therefore 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 then y values you have calculated this is 1 for 1 then 3 for x is equal to 1 you got the answer y as 3 for x is equal to 2 y as 11 yes for 3 31 for 4 69 for 5 131 for 6 223 this is the first value will be always x naught here y naught x naught x1 x2 x3 so on up to x6 here y naught y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 now we'll calculate the first differences here 3 minus 1 is 2 11 minus 3 is 8 31 minus 11 is 20 69 minus 31 is 38 131 minus 68 is 62 223 minus 131 is 92 this is first difference now the second difference 8 minus 2 is 6 20 minus 8 is 12 30 minus 20 is 18 62 minus 38 is 24 92 minus 62 is 30 now the third difference 12 minus 6 is 6 18 minus 12 is 6 24 minus 18 is 6 30 minus 24 is 6 now the next difference that is fourth difference 6 minus 6 is 0 6 minus 6 is 0 6 minus 6 is 0 if you observe the values are goes on decreasing here first they are they were 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 there were the seven terms then 6 here 5 here 4 here 3 the last value will be the zero when you get the zero i can't further if i get the i mean if i perform the fifth difference also the answer will be zero therefore we'll stop here itself they told you to calculate after forming the table they told you to calculate leading forward and backward differences leading forward means the first line that is delta y naught delta square y naught delta cube y naught therefore delta y naught is equal to 2 delta square y naught is equal to 6 delta cube y naught is equal to 6 and delta 4 y naught is equal to 0 similarly the leading backward is delta y n is 92 delta square is 30 delta cube is 6 delta 4 is 0 this all we have completed the first example first they will be given the equation and we have to substitute the x values corresponding we are going to get y then form the first difference second difference and third difference till you get the first, last column will be a single value or it terms to be zero then write the leading forward difference then backward difference now we'll go for the second example that is construct a table of difference for the following data they have given they have given the table and they told you to evaluate delta square f of 20 delta cube f of 0 then delta 4 f of 0 see here they have given the table f of x is nothing but y because we have considered y is equal to f of x therefore x values will be writing then corresponding y values first first difference is that is delta y 
1.5 minus 1 is 0 0.5 2.1.5 is 0 0.7 3.1 minus 2.2 is 0 0.9 4.6 minus 3.1 is 1.5 similarly subtract and write the answers and this is the third difference then 0 0.4 minus 0 is nothing but 0 0.4 further I cannot simplify because we get the single value therefore we are stopping here and they told you to evaluate delta square f of 20 so yeah, delta square f of 20 which is nothing but delta square f of 20 in the delta square in the see here delta square delta square f of 20 they have said here see the 20 is what this is x naught this is x1 and this is x2 therefore delta square as it is f of 20 is nothing but it is of x2 value from the table therefore delta square f of x2 is nothing but y2 when y is equal to f of x then y2 is equal to f of x2 therefore in the second forward difference table i have to see delta square y naught this is delta square i need delta square y2 therefore this is y naught this is y1 and this is y2 therefore delta square y2 which is equal to 0 0.6 similarly delta cube f of 10 f of 10 is nothing but this is x naught and this is x1 therefore f of x1 then delta cube as it is if x1 is equal to y1 therefore in delta cube y1 value this is y0 and this is y1 therefore 0.4 next delta 4 f of 0 0 is nothing but x0 therefore delta 4 f of x0 which is nothing but delta 4 y0 delta 4 y0 is 0.4 see here this is 0.4 next in the next video we will solve some of the more example thank you